Hi, so this is another video on how to train your horses on the sport of kings. So first of all you need to um, buy a horse, so you go to the market, sales ring, you can choose what age horse you want, uh, one year olds are only uh, available at certain stages of the season. Um, you get a bit of bonus if you buy four or more and pay a bit extra, you sp should get uh, one good horse out of the f every four. So once the horses are bought, they end up in your stable under the group unassigned. And there they are. Now this is a group of four horses that I've just bought. Uh, this black star there is interesting. That means it's a rear sire. The sire is flatter. So we're going to train a horse. So we'll start with the top one. Just click on that, and we get to the horses page. The first thing to note is the heart is three quarter red, which is very good. Uh, the heart is shows a w willingness to compete. So the more red in there, the better. Uh, you do get black hearts, which a lot of people don't like, but um, it's not really a bar to success. Really, black heart. So the next thing you want to know is the um, the growth. Now this shows you um, the growth on the ground. As a yearling, it won't show you the maturity. You can't see that until the horse turns two. So you can see the, uh, there's plenty of growth on firm and soft. There, 100 percent, well 99 percent. It's it's a turf horse, and you can check that. You can also check on the sire. So if you click on that, it will show you. There it tells you it's progeny. They're almost predominantly all turf and they're normally classic or stayers. So now we go to train the horse. Um, first day you buy a horse, you're allowed 10 farm trains and two of these public workouts. Farm trains are only visible to you, public workouts are visible to everyone on the site. And I'll show you where they are. They are Garden News, and they're there. And it basically lists every workout on the site. Alright, so we know the horse is a turf horse. Training on turf. Um, go for a mile, give it a quick training run. Uh, that's the time that it ran. So we train again. Now we need to know if it likes any of these ads, so start with the top one, same conditions, train it again. Uh, that didn't seem to improve, let's just check on that, it's gone backwards so it doesn't want that blink as we know that. Uh, try the next one, tongue tie, same conditions, one mile soft, one run, train again. Doesn't look like it likes that either. Mm. Uh, it's almost identical time, but the thing about a tongue tie, that's not necessarily means it doesn't like it because the tongue tie really is all about stamina. If the stamina increases with the tongue tie, normally the horse wants a tongue tie. So we can check that separately later, just to be sure. So I guess get rid of that. We'll check the ear moss. Same again. Uh, Looks like it like that. That's quite a big jump for ear moss. They're normally quite very small. 0.3 better. That uh, like 99% he wants the ear moss. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to confirm that by going to equipment and checking. This is a master trainer. You can ask once about one of the equipment. It costs two dollars, which can be paid in bonus credits. So we'll check the ear moss. Will be better able to focus with him. I think your horse needs at least one other piece of equipment. I did not expect that. I expected it to say um, ear moss alone. So, hmm. Okay, go back to the horse. So we know it wants ear moss, but does it want tongue tie or blinkers? Mm. Unlikely blinkers, but I'll show you how to check the tongue tie later. So let's carry on with the training. Uh, we're really expecting um, 
something between a classic and a stale. So just for that reason, I'm going to change it and train it for a mile and a quarter. I'm going to do a, tra a public workout for a mile and a quarter. Uh, let's train. 28. So that's a very that's that's quite high. Anything over 20 is very high. So it stays a lot further than mile and a quarter, at least a mile and a half. That tells me that. But what I want to know really is um, does it like the tongue tie? I'm going to check that out later. But just for the time being. go back to the training we know it's not a sprinter we know it's not fast we're not sure what it is yet but we'll just save that for the time being now I want to give it a run on firm I'll go for a mile and a quarter now and know it stays at least that far Interesting. So, a little bit of difference. It likes uh, firm better than soft. We've seen prove that there. Now, I do want to check if it wants a tongue tie or not, and how I'm going to do that. I'm going to do another public work. Uh, it's going to be the same as the other public work which was a mile and a quarter on soft but this time with the tongue tie and oh, I keep forgetting to put it onto public work mile and a quarter soft with the tongue tie train hmm that is hardly any difference here. it's almost identical 29% 28% the times are identical so that suggests strongly that it doesn't want the tongue tie, so it, it has to want the blinkers. That's the only possible solution. It has to want blinkers. So now um, I'm still not sure what's its best trip. I know it stays a mile and a quarter, it probably stays a mile and a half. I'm going to need to work that out at some stage. What you can do, because if you've got bonus credits, you can purchase stamina recovery. Let's try a mile and a half now. Mm, not great. Not great. Um, let's try a bit further gets any better or worse. Hmm. Alright, so we've used up all our training runs today. Have a look what what we can learn about the horse. Uh, it's one star, which means it's in the top 50% globally. Really what you need to be seeing is blue stars, which is uh, top 25% or green stars, which is top 5% among all the horses on the side. Now we can see the further it goes, the closer it is to um, a track record, a stable record. So it looks like the further it goes, the better. It might, if you're lucky, it might be a, um, a two miler. I mean, I can test that out. not sure it will want any further than mile and three quarters. It might just about get two miles. Let's have a look. Two percent, no. It doesn't get two miles. It needs ten percent. So uh, that's about it. That's the training done for this horse. So now um, let's have a look at this rear sire. Let's see what we can learn about this one. Now let's look at the growth. It's Again, it's so full on dirt. It's a dirt horse, definitely. Red heart, uh, just a, looks about 50%-ish. Flatter, we can have a look at that. Progeny record, it produces, you know, a lot of stayers. But, fun enough, um, it 
equally good on dirt and turf. So. But judging by what I'm seeing in the growth path, this is definitely a, a dirt horse. So let's give it a train. Um, considering that it produces nearly all stayers, I, I think I'm going to train it a little further than a mile to start with. So let's go a mile and a half. Wow! That's what you like to see, some lovely green t times in there. That's nice. So let's try it with the blinkers. Uh, that didn't improve. Try it with the tongue tie. Again, maintain the same conditions. Don't know if that's an improvement or not. It's about similar. Um, could we once tongue tie? It's a little bit of an improvement. So let's check the earmuffs now. Earmuffs, again, there's not much difference between na naked and with the earmuffs, there never is. Uh, if it's positive, it, even 0 0.1, 0 0.2%, it probably wants them. So I'd take that as a given that it wants the earmuffs. I'd say, I'd say that it doesn't want the blinkers, and um, just to confirm that, I'm going to ask the master trainer by clicking on the horse and going to equipment, and just check equipment. It costs $2 for a visit does not like and needs at least one. So I reckon it needs tongue tie and earmuffs. I'm pretty confident with that. But um, I will d I will uh, test the tongue tie theory out later. So now, basically my training's done. Uh, I mean. I'll do a public work and just see how far it can go, so that's all I need to do. Uh, what I'm going to do now, uh, let me just check how it goes on the other dirt surface. That's even better. So that's good. And let us see how far how it does over further. Very good. And over two miles. That's not bad. So what I want to know now is how far does it stay, so track workout, 2 miles on good, train, 1% doesn't say 2 miles. Let's hope it stays a mile and 3 quarter. Doesn't even stay a mile and three quarters. Train again. Now I, I do want to check the tongue tie. Now, if you've got bonus credits in your account, you can purchase stamina recovery. And I want to check without a tongue tie over a mile and three quarters and see what that shows. Alright, let's just uh, check those two results. Now, mile and three quarter with the tongue tie. sake I always forget to change it back to public workout all right so mile and three quarter with the tongue tie 259.45 six percent stamina without the tongue tie three double oh six three it's a second slower but you can see the stamina has dropped dramatically from 6% down to 2%, that's 100% he wants a tongue tie, even though that the time is slower, that doesn't really matter. The tongue tie is all about the stamina. So accessories are set. I'm really disappointed that it doesn't stay further than a mile and a half. That's really frustrating. Anyway, that's that done, all sorted.